Next, we will use 2D High Speed Peel Mill. 2D High Speed Peel Mill allows for efficient constant climb milling between two selected contours or along a single contour. It uses a trichoidal style of motion to cut the slot. For single chains, you need to define the width of the cut. Otherwise, the width is defined by the area between the two contours. Expand the gallery. Then select Peel Mill. Select both of these lines, making sure the chaining direction is the same for both. If the chaining direction is wrong, click on the Reverse Chains button. Then press OK. Select Tool. Select the quarter inch flat end mill and enter the comment Machine the slot. Select Cut Parameters. Change the step over to 15%. Enable Extend Entry. Set to 0.25. And Extend Exit. Set to 1.25. Change the stock to leave on walls and floors to zero. Make sure Depth Cuts is disabled. And then select Finish Passes. Enable Finish Passes with the spacing set to 0 0.02. Then enable Machine Finish Passes only at final depth. Select Linking Parameters. Change the depth to minus 0.5 Absolute. Press OK to generate the operation. Backplot the operation. When backplot is finished, press OK. Select All Operations and click Verify. When Verify is finished, minimize the simulation window. Return your view to isometric and toggle the toolpath display off. Then, we will copy the toolpath to machine this slot. Select only operation number 4. Right click on it and select copy. Then right click in the toolpaths manager and select paste. Click on geometry for operation number 5. Right click in the chain manager and select rechain all. Then select the line here and press OK. Then press OK again. Select parameters for operation number 5. Select cut parameters. Change the single chain only to left. And set the slot width to 0.5. Select linking parameters and make sure the depth is minus 0.5 absolute. Then press OK and regenerate the dirty operation. Backplot the operation. When backplot is finished, press OK. Select All Operations and click Verify. When Verify is finished, minimize the simulation window. Then return your view to isometric.